Hi, welcome to the next channel. A while ago, I shot a video episode on, uh, uh, you know, compiling uh, C source code uh, and the video title is, uh, you know, as you can see here, uh, first learn to compile. So if you haven't watched this episode, I would highly recommend you to watch the same and I'm going to add uh, the link in the video description so that you can generally get some, uh, you know, big picture. So in this episode, what we can do is we can take a sample uh, source. Uh, uh, in that uh, previous episode, I picked some uh, random uh, source code and uh, in that episode, the objective is not about compiling it. The objective is all about uh, there are multiple steps involved and it depends on each source code, how it is bundled. And the first thing as a part of programming, you should also learn how to compile a source code. Okay. And uh, even if you are writing your own source code, sometimes you need to support make files and uh, all this stuff. And uh, you have apart from make file you have this config files and stuff so that the config file will ensure uh, you have all the libraries met and you have that uh, you know entire uh, you know uh, thing what it is uh, done you have all that uh, libraries met if any libraries are not met it is going to show that errors you can install those missing libraries okay or dependencies you can call either way okay we generally call as dependencies so you can install those dependencies and then finally it compiles okay so in this example i thought let me pick this uh, eat tool utility uh, this utility is quite uh, useful and uh, using this utility you can set your uh, network adapter uh, hardware characteristics and uh, stuff like that say for example gro gso tso all those things you can set with uh, each tool and uh, regarding this i have done an extensive video episodes on each tool okay you can see here i discussed about the source and uh, you know stuff like that and uh, there are two parts in this uh, eth tool one is the kernel part we can go here the kernel part is there so in the kernel if you go to network somewhere you should find network core you should find some extent of eth tool part i'm sorry not here it should be in the drivers uh, if you pick any driver it will have some amount of eth tool support so we pick a network uh, ethernet driver so net ethernet and we go to intel and uh, and uh, if you go to any of this uh, uh, folders okay see each one is a specific nic card type this is a 100 gig uh, pci express uh, nic card uh, i'm sorry 1000 gig or uh, i'm sorry 1 gigabit or 1000 mbps <laughs> nic card and this is uh, 1 gigabit uh, uh, nic card okay so inside you have that sources this is a 40 gig uh, nic card and so and so okay so versus this is just a hundred uh, you know mbps nic card so you can go here and if you see somewhere you will have that eth tool part so generally each driver have that uh, eth tool handling part so that is one aspect the user space aspect is this so this is the sort of a you know source code we take as a very quick example so you can see here there are various versions and this thing is released in july uh, 25th uh, this year okay so we pick this source code uh, you can take uh, xe or gz so whichever is convenient you can pick and uh, we can save it inside this uh, uh, sandbox yeah code sandbox and uh, what we can do is it is stored here uh, you can see here it is uh, copied over here and what I can do is I can do it R minus X E V F is tool and you can see here it is extracted and we can go inside the folder and uh, and you can see whatever we got this is what we got and we have this uh, you know uh, the make file is not yet created you can see here there is no make file instead you have this uh, make file template and then you have this uh, configure part okay so you can see here cat make file uh, make file dot in it's like a template okay if you want to add any uh, modules you have added any modules to this uh, existing source code and all you need to add here not in the built make file okay so this is what so you can see it is just a bare bone uh, you know uh, downloaded source code which doesn't have anything and we have not touched anything so before proceeding you can read sometimes it's a read me and uh, stuff like that so you can read about it so sometimes they may include compile instructions in the read me sometimes they may put an extensive file as a compilation and stuff like that or else installation and stuff in this case you can see here there is a file 
user guide as install okay so you can see here they have provided some steps configure and uh, other options for configure sometimes they may provide sometimes they may not provide and uh, sometimes you can go through the configure source also and you can figure out uh, any options and stuff okay so that they have provided apart from that usually you should get uh, some uh, uh, you know document as uh, license and uh, you know stuff so this is released under gpl v2 so this uh, suggests if you use this if you copy this uh, what are its terms and uh, you know legal implications okay so same way news sometimes they may put any uh, to do's and bug fixes and change logs and stuff as a part of this so you can see here each version they have done some changes and added any features and stuff so this is how a source code is you know built around and you can also see this authors and stuff see each code will be different sometimes uh, some other thing you downloaded may not have these files so they may have just license and readme and they may not even provide any compilation steps so in general you need to figure out uh, how it can be compiled so this is the most challenging aspect of you know learning a source code uh, to you know i mean learning a uh, you know programming and as well as uh, how to utilize a specific source code okay so this is what and see same way in case you have done a c project uh, you know how you bundle it okay so this this is what it is so you can see this is uh, done by all these authors are involved so and now we can do is so we can go to you know uh, i mean we have seen this you know install uh, uh, file cat cat install so it's just straightforward we need to do configure and then we need to do make okay so in this case it just works because i have tested uh, you know older feature just now and it it was compiling so i thought this episode unlike my you know previous episode first learn to compile i pick a working example that one is just meant to give that big picture so that you will get some idea so okay so we do this uh, configure as you can see it is executable it is uh, you know highlighted in this green color text so it is executable you can see it shows all the dependencies yes no yes no yes no and uh, by this way we will know if there is anything really required okay it is going to warn and it is going to show that error or something uh, that this particular dependency is in required uh, sometimes you don't know what that dependency you can copy and then you can google search and then you can do sudo apt you know install abc like that you can do that and you can meet all that you know needed uh, dependencies okay so in this case looks like it is fine and we check if make is make file is created okay so you can see here make file is created and if you don't believe we can even timestamp this make file and you can see here make file is just created now versus these are old okay this is april or july and stuff versus this is just created okay see i do the date and you can see it is 9th of august and it's just 1046 so it's just created on the fly so now we can do is we can do a make and it should technically compile the source sometimes you may get some errors because of some uh, you know issue and stuff sometimes there are minor errors you can actually correct them okay so often you may get such things so in this case you can see it has compared all the c files and finally it has linked to this thing and you got this you know binary okay so ls you can see here we have this eth tool binary and it is uh, ready to use so like any other eth tool you can do you know uh, sudo eth tool and you need to provide options it is not going to work so you can see here it is going to show that error uh, sudo eth tool minus i eth uh, eno1 something like that okay so this you can see here it shows so this is the nick card this is the driver and stuff and uh, minus uh, lower case k it is going to show all the options if you want to change the options you can put upper case k and then you can tell uh, you know tso on and uh, stuff like that so as you can see this is uh, you know uh, run uh, one thing i noticed is uh, uh this is run via standard uh, you know uh, command this is not run by this compiled one so we can do is uh, you know what we can do is uh, we can do is dot slash eth tool and this is run by this compiled version so i just noticed that okay because eth tool is anyway installed in my system so you can see here uh, this is the eth tool versus that is the standard eth tool you can see maybe locate eth tool you can do that and uh, you can uh, 
find out where is that standard ETH tool is. Yep, you can see here it is installed in SBIN ETH tool. Okay, so this is where it is, uh, you know, installed versus uh, the compiled one is over here. And now you can do make install and stuff, which I don't want to do because that standard ETH tool is provided by, uh, uh, you know, Linux Ubuntu's, uh, you know, uh, module install versus this is a compiled one. So I don't want to do if you want uh, your one uh, versus, uh, you know, the, you know, standard one, you can replace with this uh, make install and it should technically replace that and uh, you will get this one working whenever you do each tool versus that standard one okay so it is going to overwrite so in case if you want to learn you can do man each tool you have this and uh, if you see the source code they should have also those man pages uh, defined somewhere here okay somewhere you should also find those uh, man pages uh, I'm not sure in this case uh, where they packed so somewhere they should be able to keep those uh, man pages so when you do make install it should install uh, technically everything so sometimes you can even uh, go through this uh, make file and uh, see exactly in each step what they are doing okay so in the case of uh, compilation you can see the compiler options they have some uh, you know options uh, uh, all this stuff so it is uh, you know uh, generic uh, shell script based stuff make files is done like that so if you come down uh, yeah you can see here these are the instructions for uh, you know compiling a specific module and so and so so and so and if you come down somewhere in the case of make install you should able to find its uh, you know instructions in the case of install what to be done okay so this make file looks really complicated the reason is it is auto generated this is not hand coded and if you want you can even hand code a make file in my case i don't uh, if i do any you know c user space uh, uh, you know projects i don't uh, add uh, you know this configure logic and i don't uh, do this auto make and all okay so i do a hand coded uh, make file or else these days i don't do that as well i write a php source to compile that or else i may write a c source to compile a c source or you know stuff like that but uh, that's that's about me but uh, this is how you get any open source projects okay so once you do that it does that make install any config files uh, and uh, all those samples will also be installed if it is a running daemon it will register in init.d in etc or it will register that uh, system d stuff so this is what it happens so hope you learned something today and uh, this is very important learn first how to compile uh, you know again i'm saying watch my previous episode also and this episode uh, i thought let me show a working demo <laughs> rather than that episode and go through all this uh, stuff the developer uh, you know notes let it be licensed sometimes they may bundle something important inside the license file sometimes in that uh, news and updates uh, to do and it can be any such you know file name sometimes they are written as .txt sometimes may not be mentioned as .txt and stuff so go through all those things and you will get some clues and moreover most important thing is if you want to do any compiler options okay compile options go through their uh, documentation sometimes they may tell that to configure you know config configure you know no uh, this uh, that no encrypt or something like that uh, something like that you can provide in case such special options are enabled okay so suppose you have got a source code and it is a vpn source code you don't want the compression or encryption to be enabled then you can do that and you can compile and you can do a selective compile okay so this is what so you can do that uh, go through the source and as well as there's uh, you know those uh, config uh, files as well you will get some hint okay this label it enables this and disables this and stuff so do the same and you should get a you know working uh, binary uh, generally it is quite tricky this thing is an easy example which is why i picked for this video but there are some situations it will take some time maybe half an hour or even uh, you know couple of hours or rare cases even it may take one uh, one entire day to compile okay you may be having some issues and you need to go back and forth and check any dependencies or any issues you need to address them uh, before you get a successful compile
often i do get uh, emails saying that uh, i'm very new to uh, you know uh, entire systems aspect i want to get into linux kernel i want to get into i'm uh, fine with some uh, c uh, development and again i'm not good at certain things and stuff i suggest you that uh, you have the kernel source you can actually go through the kernel kernel source and uh, directly don't dream about getting into some uh, driver developer or something i often get often means it's just weekly around five to six times okay so if you are confused just go through the kernel source and compile it and learn it okay spend lot of time uh, later you can uh, you know do multiple things um, so that how you can write a specific modules or else an existing modules how it is written and then learn about drivers and stuff so you can do step by step and more uh, you know more than this before all this you need to be good in uh, logic writing okay you need to good in programming i'm not saying c programming you should be good in any programming let it be any language okay so you should be good in writing a logic so try to perfect it kernel source you don't have much source okay very few lines but it may be a very critical code so be an expert in writing logic so spend some time the more you gain the experience later you can scale it up in terms of uh, you know getting into kernel and stuff don't immediately jump out of college and don't immediately think that you will become some driver developer and stuff and there are also some institutes who cater some kind of course structure and stuff but still i'm saying in the real world it takes some time you need to be very good in development of uh, stuff and uh, before even moving on to something like that it's just somewhere inside okay so before even go there you need to be an expert in these aspects okay so try to perfect it and uh, all these things also matters it's just not about compiling kernel source you need to also understand how each individual uh, user space uh, applications you can compile self compile like this this is an easy example there are you know examples which are far more complicated like i said it takes a lot of time just perfect all these things and later slowly you can transition towards the kernel space and last but not least uh, as i say always uh, i'm also offering uh, classes and if you're really uh not able to self motivate self drive yourself better you join under a guru and learn these things step by step i don't have any books i don't have any fixed syllabus it will be much in a free flow way but at the same time uh, you know there is no limit for number of sessions or anything you can learn in your own pace in your comfort as many sessions as possible and then you can uh, you know be in touch get into all these things in your own speed so that way it is uh, more comfortable in case if you are working already so that you can allocate your free time and learn all these things so hope you enjoyed this video be in touch via mail or post your queries in youtube comments thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye